She is really making me wanna do a wash and go now, but I know she gonna disrespect me. She's going to disrespect. All right, bitch, I'll do the fucking wash and go. God damn. All right, so since it's been a minute since I've done a wash and go, I gotta figure out which products to combine. Usually for my wash and goes, I do either a leave-in conditioner in a gel or I do a gel in a foam. And today I feel like doing a leave-in conditioner in a gel because I don't feel like messing with no foam. <laughs> I mess with no bones, right? So the best way to figure out if two products work together before you put them in your head is to try them in your hand, baby girl. So take a little squirt. Honey, we probably won't even be using this because she ain't got nothing in her. And then I got the Curl Smith Expensive As Shower In Style Fixer. Love this gel. But honey, them products are on the pricey side. I'm gonna take a little bit of both. We got the gel and the leave-in in there. You see it, focus. And then we just gonna mix it to see if it clumps. She ain't with it. She ain't, ooh, look at that. She is velvety smooth, is she? Is she velvety smooth, is she? She is, we don't have no clumping. A lot of white cast, but we don't have no clumping, so. I think this is our girl, this is our girl. This is our girl, okay. We don't waste no products over here, honey. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna use. Both the Curl Smith and my TGIN Rose Water Smoothing Leave In Conditioner, right? And I love TGIN. I, I've used only the Rose Water line. I've only used this line, but she never did me dirty. She now she's already starting to dry out and that's fine because I don't want to do a super soak and wet style and then have to worry about blow drying it tonight. I'm sorry. So this is probably going to be a poofy wash and go. Fine by me. I love big hair. But in case you want a more defined look, just add some more water. I do have my water on standby just in case she does dry out. Now I have some natural bangs. <laughs> natural. I'm lying. I cut no. my hair here because I had took out some braids and I was moving a little too fast and I cut one. I was like, mm, fuck it, we getting bangs now. It was a oopsies that turned into a damn genie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So because I'm not about to be going back and forth between two products. I'm about to go ahead and add in all of my leave-in conditioner now. And since the spout a spout in, we about to just oh boom. That's gonna be for this whole side right here. get the rest of that thank you ma'am another gollop just like that boom and prayer hands prayer hands and boom there we go i'm gonna just hang this little pitiful section it take me a little squirt <laughs> just a little squeeze of gel right on the tips of my finger and i like to Put it on there just like that just break it through smooth it through you know what i'm saying and uh, we have curls let me shake her in place for y'all so y'all can see her there, there she is she trying she trying give her a minute let her get up let her get up do something honey oh my gosh why are you looking pitiful see embarrassing me on camera there we we got one <laughs> <laughs> now I'm about to do that 50 more times. I'm about to concentrate because I can't keep talking to y'all. Y'all be distracting me. Some 
right, so this is what I'm looking like right now, but I am completely done. The curls are curling, very defined on the ends. I'm about to go to bed, so I gotta tie all this mess down because it's bedtime. I'm so tired. I'll pull it back with a ponytail holder real quick. Just, just real quick, silky scarf. Ugh, I never like it on my ears. Okay. And it is time. And I'm going to keep the scarf tied up here. Then remove the hair tie. Ooh. All right. Okay. I'll come back in the morning. Show y'all my quick routine. Now my morning routine, I ain't going to be doing all that talking. Because I got to get up out of here take my kids to school. And I'm always waking up late. So... It's gonna be real quiet when y'all see me in the morning. Y'all just gonna see me doing my hair and running about the doors. All right, so I've had this a wash and go in for three days now. Today is day four of my wash and go and the definition, honey, has been hanging in. And I'm sorry, I sound like a frog right now. I lost my voice. It has been four days for since I've done the wash and go using the Curl Smith and the TGIN leave-in conditioner. The definition looks hella good. I did add some oil, the Pretty Strands hair oil on like the second day after I stretched it out to kind of help with locking in the moisture. And it feels good. Like it does not, like it definitely has that gel cast on it. Whenever you have definition like this from a gel, you're going to expect that cast, that kind of like hard shell on the outside of the hair. For me, I probably used about half of that bottle for the Curl Smith. And my hair is a little like right at bra strap length. Like, she, and, and what's crazy is I I just scheduled to get my hair cut next week <laughs> and I love how my hair wants to show out when I've decided that I'm done with her and I'm gonna cut her all off. The color looks really good um, I have some low light and some highlight areas but mainly because of sun exposure but it looks really really good it does the brown turned out really nice the definition is super cute and coily as you can see look at that little coil I love the color I love the definition it looks really really good all right, y'all, so that's going to end this video. I appreciate y'all joining us on another tutorial. We will see y'all on the next one. Be blessed and be safe.